Hey everyone, Luke here from 3D Tutor. In this video, I will talk about the basics of snapping functionality within Unreal Engine 5. There are four snapping options within Unreal Engine 5, which we can use to help ourselves in building the world. Within this video, I will be using Downtown West 3 Pack, which we can get from Unreal Engine Marketplace, to help and explain all the snapping options that we have. So right now, I have a couple of pieces set up that we can use for the road, for example. And the first option that I will show you is how to use a grid option. So there's something called Enable Grid Snapping Tool within the upper right corner of our view. If we were to enable that, we'll be able to move our object while snapping to the grid. Right now, it is set to 10 by 10, which will allow us to you move our piece by 10 units. If you want to see the grid itself, you can go to the upper left corner, click on Show, and select Show Grid. This will show you the grid within a ground floor of our map. And what this will do is, It'll set the grid based on the snapping scale. Right now it is set to 10 by 10 and it'll give you this sort of a grid which will allow us to move by 10 units on E square like so. If I were to set it to let's say 50, you'll notice that the grid will get much larger. By the way, if you want to change the grid, you can go next to the grid button and change the grid just like that. So right now it is set to 50 by 50, which means that each cube represents 50 units, which we can move it around like so. And afterwards, what you need to know is that the highlighter larger pieces are meant to show a 10 by 10 square. So right now, because we're set to 50, the highlighted bit is going to be set to 500 by 500. If we were to go back onto 10 by 10, it'll go back to a smaller grid and the highlighter piece will be 10 by 10, which means that each of the larger highlighted squares is going to be 100 by 100 or because one unit is somewhat equivalent to one centimeter, it can be said that it is one meter by one meter of a square. So that's quite useful to know when placing down your assets. When working with modular pieces, if the modular pieces are set up to the right dimensions, for example, this one is set to the scale of, I'll go to the top view real quick to explain my point. Its scale is set to 400 by 500 units, making it easy to work within the grid snapping tool. Even if the gizmo is in the middle, we can easily place the modular pieces together and it'll nicely meet its ends. So if I were to go to perspective view back like so, and if I were to duplicate this piece, you'll notice that they will connect nicely together. It can be easily divided into 10 of the grid. And if the gizmo is set right within the center of our asset, That'll make the gizmo point of 250, meaning that if we were to move our asset by 250 units away from our piece, we'll get it snapped exactly to one another, which makes it really nice and easy to use. Then another snapping option that we have is something called snapping to rotation. This will allow us to rotate our object by the amount of degrees that we select. By default, it should be set to 10. However, if we were to rotate it, by default, it is set to 10. If you were to rotate it by that, you'd be able to rotate it, for example, by 90 degrees. However, this set of snapping value I don't really like, as you cannot exactly 
get it to a 45 degrees since it's only snapping by 10 degrees so close you can get is either 40 or 50 you can never get to 45 by this default value so instead what i'd like to use is setting it to 15 degrees which will help us to get it to a value of 45 degrees just like that snapping tool also allows you to get a degrees for exactly dividable number of 360 so for example we can pick it of a value of 5.625 which will allow us to which will allow us to move it by the exact degrees that we want but personally i just prefer to use it as a value of 15 as it's easier to follow the set of values and if i were to use the snapping tool i'd usually want to either get it to a value of 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees i usually wouldn't use it for anything else the snapping tool or the rotation the third option for snapping would be snapping to a scale so if we were to enable that we can use it to snap our scale to the grid if we were to use now a scale objects option like so we're able to scale it up by a value right now of 0 0.25 what's nice about it is that if we were to use this in combination with the snapping to grid we can make some pretty nice results so right now if i were to change this to a value of snapping it to 0.5 instead and if we were to scale this piece up just like that if we were to scale it by 0.5 we'll get a scale of a 1.5 just like that now since we know that this module piece has the default width of 400 and a length of 500 we know that by upscaling it we'll get it set to a value of 600 by set by 750 like so so what's nice about it is that if we're using it the scale to snap if we're using it snap to scale in combination with snapping grid we're able to move our grid right now duplicate its object and it'll still snap to this piece because we're scaling it up proportionally to the unit of our asset so this will make our lives just a bit easier if we're using it accordingly now finally we have a snapping to a vertice mode what this does is if we were to select this you'll notice that this gizmo is set to the very edge of this asset so if we were to duplicate it we can use the snapping tool to snap it to the edge of this asset over here so by holding a button b we're able to enable the snapping to vertice mode and we can simply attach it to the edge of this other asset over here so what the snapping to vertice mode does is basically if i were to change the view mode from lit to wireframe it'll basically snap to the vertice of these ones over here which is quite nice if the gizmo is set to the very edge we can use them to snap our asset like so sometimes it gets a bit janky especially if the wireframe has more vertices but it's quite nice to use in order to snap it to the edges for example of our asset so that's it guys these were four ways which we can use our snapping options within unreal engine 5 if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out our other online goods that we have we do online courses as well as create 3d assets and pbr textures all the links can be found in the description down below thanks for watching